All right, Todd, what is going on in the market? All right. Well, <clears throat> thanks for joining us, everybody. Today, we're going over the market statistics for the week ending May 15th. It's the Greater Phoenix metropolitan area. Here we go. 58 days closed on market. Our month's supply is just under two months. We're at an absorption rate of 51.19%. Our average list price is at 813. Average sale price this week at 547. And our list price to sale price retention. Ooh, look at that number, 97.82. Active inventory uh, slowing the decline, but still just a little uh we just need more inventory. 12,827 is what we've got for single family distress. Now, uh, now single family. Now, remember also, just to make sure everybody's aware, when you're going over this and you look at these numbers, our active numbers are always a little bit less than MLS's or other reporting agencies because we don't put in their contingency sales and, and things that are uh, – you know, under contract, uh, potentially waiting for some other uh, act to follow. What, what we do, we don't want to get our clients excited about a property they can't have and then have them compare that property to every single other property you're showing them. So my numbers are what is active, pending sitting at 4550, closed at 3064 for the month. Looking at new listings, we took 1727 this past week and uh, our days on market is 95.5 for active and 64 for closed. Looking at our price ranges, bottom right hand side, you'll see under five. 500,000 is at 51.72% of the entire MLS inventory. Uh, our 500,000 a million dollars is at 33.4%. And our million dollar and up categories continuing to climb. We're at 14.9% of the entire MLS inventory. That's a huge number. That's always been about 10. So 4 times, you know, 4% of 15,000 is a, is a huge jump. Looking at our spreadsheet and uh, taking our numbers, for those of you who haven't joined us before, in the very center of the column, you have the same period two years ago to the left of that. You have the same period last year. And then we have the two columns uh, to the left of that, the white columns that are uh, indicative of the week over week. The blue represents month over month. Let's get going. 1727 new listings. We're at 1763, so we slid just a little bit. Our, our big number we're looking for is 2400. As you can see, last year we did 2486, and we didn't overconsume last year, which was a, a huge – we ended September with more inventory than, than we're used to. Well, I overconsumed this weekend, mm. so I'm, I'm still struggling <laughs> from that. <laughs> 22 – okay, we'll let that one go. Uh, take a look at the active inventories at 12,827. Uh, again, just ebbing uh, just a little bit. 561 of those stayed the same number of coming soon. 10,010 were single family non distressed. Our 2651 were new home construction. That actually helped the number a little bit. We would have had a greater loss if those builders hadn't added those. Uh, looking at uh, non distressed, uh, we were sitting at 12,772. Very little things happening in the foreclosure market, as we've been discussing. Uh, you know, it has moved from, you know, way over on the right in the gold there. If you see three years ago during COVID, it was, you know, 4, 21, and 1, respectively. Uh, we're at 24, 23, and 6. But way over to the left, you'll see 0 0.2, 0 0.2. This means this is less than one tenth, or excuse me, one less than 0.5 percent of the entire MLS inventory. So it's really just not a, a factor right now. Uh, looking at pending 4550, this slid just a little bit. Remember, we're trying to find somewhere about 5,500 people in the marketplace. That's that's really the sweet spot uh, based on our inventory, based on the day's supply, based on uh, list price to sell price retention. Uh, so we really are looking for that number. Last year we were at 50, 4674. Not too much greater than we were right this particular moment, week over week. But remember, these numbers change daily, um, so just like interest rates. So this is just one of those numbers that every single week we pull it at the same time so that we can compare. Taking a look at closed, 3064 so far, month to date. We were at 3837 last year. That's only 10% off. Now, we hopefully by the end of the month, we'll have closed more units uh, keeping this pace. It would really be nice to get away from the you know 20 and 30% declines in inventory year over year. Month supply, like we said, 1.95, a little better than uh, last week. We're looking for a two to two and a half month supply range. Uh, our average pr list price and sale price, as you can see here, average sale price, you know, last week we we're at 560, this week we we're at 470. Like I said, it jumps and bubbles. But if you look way over the right, we were as high as $592,000 a year ago, 595 just last year. Uh, inventory slowing up, uh, actually, excuse me, speeding up a little bit. Um, last week's number was an, an anomaly, 76. It's been 58 to 65. Um, and then again, this week it corrected itself back to 58. So that's not a shock to have had it drop, uh, but it does mean that the market is exceptionally 
beginning to be exceptionally brisk. Uh, our sale price to list price, list price to sale price retention. If there's a golden ticket this week, this is it. Um, you know, 97.82, way over on the left, 97.8. That's what we're looking for. That's the uh, that's the mean. That's the number we have to constantly uh, strive to be around. Um, so when we're right on that number, that's a good sign. It means the sellers are negotiating a little bit, and it still leaves room for the buyers if they need concessions and things of that nature. So nothing real big to uh, boast about this past week, but. But uh, again, Mike, that's the numbers. 